Hey guys, welcome. If you're here, you've seen the Umbrella Academy Season 2 trailer and you have a lot of questions and hopefully I can answer some of those questions. Hi, I'm Dan. Welcome. Thanks for watching. This is the Umbrella Academy Season 2 trailer breakdown. What was that? The end of the world, November 25th, 1963. And where am I now? Dallas, 10 days earlier. Now the trailer begins with a very significant part in time and setting. Five has time travel 10 days before November 25th, 1963. So the days that follow when he's landed are very, very significant in United States history. With November 22nd being the assassination of President John F. Kennedy in Dallas and November 25th being his burial. Now this isn't the first time uh, the TV show Umbrella Academy has touched on the JFK assassination. If you remember in season one, there was a montage of five traveling through time and in one of those scenes he's actually holding a sniper rifle in what looks like to be 1963 he looks like he's about to take a shot he decides to cancel it time travel somewhere else and then after he time travels a shot is heard anyway something to keep in mind as we move forward through this trailer now this is very very canon to the volume 2 comic book umbrella academy dallas uh, the main plot point of that comic book is that the Umbrella Academy have to assassinate John F. Kennedy to save the world. Now that we've seen where Five has landed, let's take a look at the other characters. So it's apparent to me that Five is the last to have arrived from Season 1 and everybody else in the Umbrella Academy has kind of started a new life. Klaus is a cult leader, Rumor or Allison. Uh, it looks like she's in a relationship during the civil rights movement and she's kind of in the thick of it. Luther is a cage fighter. Uh, ben uh, is still a ghost as it says in this point of the trailer. It's been here? No, unfortunately, ghosts can't time travel. Are you kidding me? Diego is in a mental institution, and then there's Vanya. Now, Vanya's kind of the wild card. One, I couldn't actually pinpoint what she's exactly doing in season two. It looks like she's a nanny, judging from the little kid in the back seat and the mom in the front seat. But at the end of volume one, Apocalypse Suite, Vanya actually gets paralyzed and has amnesia. Now, as we saw at the end of season one, she is not paralyzed, nor does she have amnesia. So it's kind of unclear on what she's doing in season two. So from then on, we have the one of the basic plot points of this season, just like last season, number five, gathering the team together to yet again prevent the end of the world. All right, first off, I want to say we brought the end of the world back here with us. Oh my God, again? My cult is going to be so pissed. I told him we had until 2019. We have until Monday. Seems easy enough, right guys? But it wouldn't be a superhero story without some antagonist. And I'm pretty stoked for the antagonist of this season. They're not here to sell vacuum. The commission will hunt us down wherever and whenever we go. So this is Carmichael, and you'll see him in little glimpses throughout this trailer. Just some little information on him. He is the head of the commission. He first appears in Umbrella Academy lore in Volume 2 Dallas, so it makes sense that he's in Season 2. He is a sentient goldfish of high intelligence and the ability to speak, and it's quite clear he's the antagonist of this season. Him and three henchmen are trying to prevent the Umbrella Academy from saving the world, so that means they're trying to prevent the Umbrella Academy from executing this plan. Everything in our new life is connected from the plot to assassinate the president. That can't be a coincidence. Now, it's still very unclear if they're going to follow the comic book on this one. Like I said earlier, the comic book plot was that they had to assassinate John F. Kennedy to save the world. 
this is the TV show, and though they like to stick with the comic book a little bit, they could always change stuff up. This last shot right here, it looks like the sniper scope is on Luther, so that's a head scratcher. No idea what they're going to do with this season. The only thing left to do right now is wait for this to come out and watch it. However, before we get out of here, there's one more part of the trailer I'd like to look at and make note of. So without further ado, let's take a look. Super strength, Klaus can commune with the dead. Allison can rumor anyone to do anything. Except she never uses it. I heard a rumor. You punched yourself you in punched the face. Yourself in the face. And boom, the big reveal that they make contact in 1963 with their dad, Sir Reginald Hargreaves, the founder of the Umbrella Academy. Now, if you remember in season one, he's kind of a very neglectful father. He just concentrates on raising superheroes and really doesn't care to raise them correctly as a dad. Now, I'm wondering, does this meeting in 1963 prevent that behavior or is it the motivating factor of the behavior? Who knows? We'll only know when we watch this show when it drops July 31st on Netflix. And you know we'll have a review as soon as we can uh, after July 31st. Hey guys, I hope you found this trailer breakdown very informative and fun to watch. And we'll catch you on the next one.